ओम शांति हमारा बाबा का पुराना चैनल जिस पर सेवा चलती थी वह डिलीट हो चुका है इसलिए अब इस नए चैनल से सेवा प्रारंभ की है इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें ओम शांति ओम शांति मॉर्निंग मुरली नाइनटीन जनवरी स्वीट लेटर ऑफ पाप दादा फॉर स्वीट स्वीट चिल्ड्रन एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन वाइल डूइंग यूर वर्क लेट यूर इंटेलेक्ट्स रिमेन कनेक्टेड इन योगा विद द वन फादर स्वीट चिल्ड्रन वाइल डूइंग यूर वर्क लेट यूर इंटेलेक्ट्स रिमेन कनेक्टेड इन योगा विद द वन फादर दिस इज द ट्रू पिलग्रीमेज Never become tired of this pilgrimage. Never become tired of this pilgrimage. Question: What power do you need in Brahman life in order to make progress? What power do you need in Brahman life in order to make progress? Answer: The power of the blessings of many souls is the way to make progress. the more you benefit others by donating to them the jewels of knowledge you receive from the father the more blessings you will receive from many souls baba advise you children children if you have money continue to open centers open a hospital come university you will receive blessings from whoever receives benefit there you will receive blessings from whoever receives benefit there song o traveler of the night don't become weary the destination of dawn is not far away om shanti the meaning of the song should automatically enter the intellects of you children we are all spiritual travelers at the moment souls have to go to god the father it would not be said that the embodied souls have to go to him embodied souls have to leave their bodies and return home when a person dies people say he has become a resident of paradise however you know that everyone has to take rebirth according to their good and bad sanskars you have a burden of sins on your heads because of your bad sanskars it is a burden from this birth and from many other births so all of those sins have to be burnt away with the power of yoga to remember the father is called the fire of yoga by sitting on the pyre of lust you have become sinful souls and the sins that have accumulated have to be burnt away in the fire of yoga so you brahman children know that you are travelers by living at home with families and doing your business your intellects are connected in yoga with the father and so it is as though you are on a pilgrimage you must not become tired of this you must not become tired of this a lot of effort is required knowledge is very easy there is a lot of praise of yoga of the ancient bharat however those who relate the gita never say shri baba taught that yoga in the gita krishna is portrayed as sitting and speaking it to arjun alone it is not like that this is changing from a human into a deity there is definitely also the pandav army it is the pandav army that receives knowledge and it is the father of the pandavas who gives it people don't know anything as you progress further many people will say that the god of gita truly did give knowledge 5000 years ago 
However, they don't know now who gave it. However, they don't know now who gave it. They don't even know the duration of the cycle. They continue to have their own opinions. They have the Gandhi Gita, the Tagore Gita and all of them say God Krishna speaks to Arjun. They even show the war. However, there is no question of war. Here for you, it is a question of the power of yoga. They have mentioned the name of a war. Just as they have given the moon dynasty Rama a bow and arrow. In fact, it is a matter of the arrow of knowledge. But they give him that symbol because he failed. Therefore, the picture of the silver age Rama and Sita also has to be shown. There are different clans. The sun dynasty, the moon dynasty. It is not written in the Gita that God spoke the Gita and established the sun and moon dynasty kingdoms. The Gita is definitely the scripture of the original eternal deity religion. They call themselves Hindu. They, they cannot call themselves those of the deity religion. Why? Because they are impure. When they say Maya is false, the body is false and the word is false, that is absolutely correct. Only those who are false would live in the word of falsehood. In the land of truth, there is truth. The one who establishes the land of truth tells you the truth. Bharat that was worthy of worship has now become a worshipper. They are worshipping the worthy of worship ones who existed in the past. The clan of those who were worthy of worship has now become that of worshippers. This is why it is sung, you, you yourself are worthy of worship and also a worshipper. There used to be the dynasty of those who were worthy of worship and now in the Iron Age there is the dynasty of worshippers, the Shudras. There are the Sun dynasty and Moon dynasty clans. You children have to explain that Bharat was like that. There are the images in the golden age. Sorry, there are images. In the golden age, Bharat was very prosperous. No one knows this unlimited history and geography. So it is essential to explain these clans. We Brahman are the highest on high. This is called the new elevated clan. When they arrange marriages, they look for the right clan. So your clan is the most elevated. Although there are many of those Brahman in the world, it is at the confluence age when the children of Brahma are the Brahman clan. People don't know that. This is something new. People think we have perhaps created our own new Gita. You children know that the father is teaching you Raj Yoga. We are once again becoming deities. No one else can say that they are establishing a kingdom. They simply sit and relate stories of those who have been and gone in the past. Here we sing praise of only the Gita. This is why people think that we only believe in the Gita. But you know that that is the Gita of the path of devotion. However, you are now listening to the Gita directly from the one who spoke it. The army of monkeys is also very well known. They show the image. Hear no evil, see no evil. You would not say this of monkeys. It must surely refer to human beings. Although their faces are like human beings, their characters are like those of monkeys. This is why it is said to be human monkeys. 
This is why it is said to human monkeys, Hear no evil, close your eyes. You children know this is an old body and that something or other will continue to happen. When someone's wife dies, he would say, The old shoe has gone. And so he will buy another one. Shri Baba wants an old shoe. He is not going to enter a new shoe. That is a new body. The one who was the newest of all has now become old. The one who was the newest of all has now become old. Baba says, this one is the number one to take 84 births. The one who is the number one pure soul, full of all virtues, completely has to become impure. Only then can he become pure again. There is an account of 84 births. You yourself are worthy of worship and also a worshipper. When that Sri Narayan becomes a worshipper, he sits and worships the image of Narayan. It is a wonder. It is a wonder. Even in his last birth, he used to worship Lakshmi and Narayan. However, when he saw Lakshmi massaging Narayan's feet as though she were his servant, he did not like it. So he had Lakshmi removed from that picture and kept the picture of just Narayan. From being a worshipper that same soul then become worthy of worship. The same applies to you. The same applies to you. There would not be just one. The children born in the golden age would be Prince and Princess. The children born in the golden age would be Prince and Princess. The father is now decorating you children in order to take you back home. You know you are becoming the masters of heaven. You will take rebirth in the golden age. Establishment is now taking place. You know, there truly was an unshakable, constant kingdom of peace and happiness. You can explain to anyone that you are studying Raj Yoga in a practical way. Some people say that when they went to a particular holy person, they experienced a lot of peace. However, that is temporary, momentary peace. Perhaps 10 or 20 people would experience that. But here it is a question of the whole world. Only in the golden age can there be true peace. The children who are sensible are making effort exactly as they did in the previous cycle. When some of the new gopikas receive knowledge while sitting at home, the mercury of their happiness rises. Yesterday, a couple came to meet Baba. A couple came to meet Baba. Baba explained to them, Children, will you not claim your unlimited inheritance from the father? You have been choking in hell for half the cycle and have become unhappy. Now can you not renounce poison for the one birth? Will you not become pure in order to become the masters of heaven? They said that it was difficult. Baba said, A worldly Brahman tied you in bondage to sit on the pyre of lust. Now sit on the pyre of knowledge and become an emperor and empress of heaven. They replied, You will have to help us. You will have to help us, Baba said. If you continue, to remember Shri Baba, you will definitely receive help. They replies, yes, I will remember him. He immediately tied a rakhi and also put a Shri Baba ring on each of them. This is Baap and Dada. This is Baap and Dada. The unlimited father says, children, if you don't become pure, you would not be able to go to heaven. 
the unlimited father says children if you don't become pure you would not be able to go heaven by not becoming pure in this last birth you will lose the kingdom can you not become pure for this short time baba is decorating you with knowledge and yoga and you then become like lakshmi and narayan if you don't listen to the father it would be understood that there is no greater fool in the world than you one type are limited fools and other type of unlimited fools those who spoil the atmosphere cannot sit here dirty impure ones cannot sit in the gathering of swans the father decorates you so much and makes you become like lakshmi and narayan maya then makes you completely poverty stricken not worth a penny not worth a penny even if someone has 5 billion sorry 5 millions he is not worth a penny because all of that is going to be burnt away only the true income will go with you <coughs> baba advises you children continue to open centers sit and decorate human beings however those who open universities come hospitals have to be good so that they can explain to others or else they can open one and then give it to others to sit and explain there the person who opened it would then also become filled with blessings from those who go there he would receive power from that and that would be benefit for 21 births is there anyone who would not follow the father shrimat you should follow the father shrimat at every step you should follow the father shrimat at every step there will of course be obstacles there are so many assaults on the gopikas in bondage one has to be fearless here the praise of the father is the fearless one who is free from any animosity we don't have animosity towards anyone the father decorates you and so you should accept his service baba why would we not follow your shrimat there is a lot of benefit for us in doing that and our children etc after us will even benefit show everyone the path to go on the true pilgrimage if there is any quarreling the poor innocent mothers have to tolerate it if they don't accept you you can then understand that they don't belong to your clan so you do have to make effort there might be someone who belongs to our clan who may even become worthy of becoming a subject even if you make others worthy of becoming subject it is good subjects have to be created as well no one apart from the father can carry out the task of changing humans into deities no one apart from the father can carry out the task of changing humans into deities you brahmans are the highest on high those people are lower you are swans and they are strokes therefore there will definitely be quarrels there will also be assaults maya ravan has ruined everyone the father comes and makes you prosperous he makes you solvent later you will have your sovereignty bharat becomes prosperous after the war they don't know that bharat becomes heaven after the great violent war so you children now have to make very good effort your lectures also have to be refined blow the blow the conch shell 
otherwise it would be said that you don't have a conch shell although you might be like a lotus and also give have a discus you don't have a conch shell baba says i only love knowledgeable souls baba says i only love knowledgeable souls gopikas also become very intoxicated with the flute means murli krishna did not play the flute this is the fi- final birth of shri krishna soul who has be- who has been around the cycle and is now receiving knowledge you know that this world is old and has to become divorced you are now becoming the masters of the new world you divorce the old world before destructions take place if you don't divorce it you would not be able to have yoga with the new world so you have experienced sorrow in the land of ravan for 63 births now divorce it divorce everything including your own bodies and then only you souls will come to me baba is saying divorce everything including your own bodies and then only you souls will come to me acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and we spiritual children says namaste good morning to our sweetest spiritual father essence for dharna first become a knowledgeable soul and blow the conch shell teach everyone the true pilgrimage create your subjects second remove the old world from your intellects and connect your intellects in yoga with the new world become fearless and free from any animosity become fearless and free from any animosity today's blessing feel baba's hand on your head and take blessing may you be free from all bondage and experience the vyakt stage by staying beyond any attraction of the corporeal feeling may you be free from all bondage and experience the vyakt stage by staying beyond any attraction of the corporeal feelings in order to be free from bondage while staying in your household don't become trapped in any relationship by your own body or physical possessions even in your thoughts let no bondage attract you even in your thoughts because if it enter your thoughts then after your thoughts it would be put into action too therefore while coming into gross consciousness don't be attracted by it for only then will you be able to experience a detached and loving avyakt stage you will experience a detached and loving avyakt stage slogan in order to experience the father sport let go of the sport of limited shores in order to experience the father sport let go of the sport of limited shores today experience the stage of being merged in love always remain merged and lost in god's love always remain merged and lost in god's love then the sparkle and intoxication on your face and the rays of experience will be so powerful that let alone any problem coming to you it will not even be able to look you in the eye you will not experience any type of hard work you will not experience any type of hard work om shanti thank you baba